journey over. Oh, well, uh, we only came the other side of London. Oh, Adela. Hey. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday, darling. Uh, I'm glad you could make it. Pleasure. Uh, oh, look, here we are. But it's nothing all that wonderful. It's just a box of shortbread, like we, like we got for Jane. Oh, look, Sam, are you all right for a lift later? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Dennis is going to run me over. I prefer to see her by myself. You understand? Yeah. Yes, of course we do understand. It uh, hasn't been easy for any of us, really, has it? But as long as our daughters are all right, that's the main thing. Shame she's not here, though. Eh? Yeah. Anyway, uh, Natalie will make it all up to us, won't you? <laughs> But again. Oh, straight up. Hello, everyone. Have families. Woo! Did you get to meet the Pope? The Pope's Catholic, Dennis. Is he? Yes. Yeah. Look, sorry, mate. It's not my fault I'm not up to date with everything in your life. You're the one that spends most of his time at rabbi school or wherever it is you go. I guess we've just both been busy. Me with my faith. And you with your... hose. Look, I know saving people from towering infernos plays havoc with your social life, but... Look, I wouldn't give up the fire service for a minute, mate. I, uh, I was going to phone, but, uh, well, I thought it'd be a nice surprise for Della's birthday and everything. Uh, well, I still think of her as our daughter. Oh, of course, and you do have every right to see her, you know. I've, uh, I've been back in Liverpool. I thought, uh, if I went back to my roots, it might feel like home, but... Oh, you don't have to make excuses, Alex. I, you know, we've all had to move on in the last four years. That's nice. Oh, right, thanks. It's birthdays, isn't it? They, they bring it all back. And it's hard just to forget it ever happened. It's, um... It's been difficult for all of us, hasn't it, you know? We've had to move on, but build our lives again. Hasn't been anyone since, you know. Well, no one special. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gosh. I thought that someone walked over my grave. This is the wind box. Mm. I don't have a nervous breakdown or anything. Oh, oh. I'm all right, Alex, you know. I really am. Jane! Day release. They let me out for my birthday. You won't tell my mum, will you? I want it to be a surprise. I want to see the look on her face when she sees me. Do you remember my 16th birthday? Do you remember my 17th birthday? So much has changed in that year, isn't it? James. See, since I've been in prison, everything's been in limbo, as if life's something that happens to other people. Your life will start again. Soon. So don't give up, eh? I should go. I've got someone I have to see. For old time's sake. See you later. Thank you for calling the Virgin Army, the last refuge of the pure. Your call may be recorded for staff training purposes. For membership, press 1. 
forthcoming international events, press 2. Or for merchandising, press 3. Bless you. Do you think my bun's too tight? Don't worry. It's only Della's party. It's not like we're going to our shareholders' conference or anything, is it? What were you doing in my dad's room earlier? Oh. I didn't think you'd notice. I know how much you've missed your dad, and since he went away, I, I felt really bad. So... So, what have you done, Kate? So, I hired a number of electrical engineers, and with the latest nanotechnology, and a lot of hard work, I brought him back. One more time. One more time. One more time. I, uh, I will get a girlfriend someday, Frankie. As long as you're the boss. It's really, really sticky. Dad. I'm just... I'm just so happy. Come on. All right. We're gonna celebrate. Hey. Hey. Hello. Did you save any damsels in distress today? There's only one damsel I've got eyes for. This is Doyle. Make me wanna go head over heels by Any few thoughts? Should have asked more, really. Now that you're rich. Natalie told me. Who wants to be a millionaire? So what did you do with the money? Bought this place. And St. Vincent's. Wanted to be near my mum. Gave the rest away, though, to charity. Mental health. I hear you've got kids now. Yeah, two. Adopted, it just seemed like the right thing to do. So you're here for good. I've just come back to see if you're okay after, well, after what happened. I should go. But I'm glad you're okay, Josh. I really am. Well, I think it's brilliant that you've taken the time to come up here, especially with your surgery exam so close. Oh, that's my sister's 21st. And I should walk those exams anyway. Well, I'm very proud of you. Oh, you mean having two Dr. Harpers in the family now? <laughs> no, it's not just that. It's the way you've dealt with all of this. It's been brilliant, Beverly. You and Celeste. It's all a bit of a miracle. Hello, Beverly. Nice dress. Hello. Hello. Come in. Come in, Sam. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Rachel, spot the difference. An engagement ring. Oh, let me see. Sam saved two months of his salary for it. He insisted. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel like I'm 17 again. Come on, Della. Time to cut the cake, sweetheart. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Huh? Let me... Jane, they've let you out. That's fantastic. Hello, everyone. Have you missed me? Ooh, empty glass here. And this is certainly the best birthday surprise ever. Yeah, I know I was going to come visit you later, but this is fantastic. It certainly is. And I can tell you one thing, my love, you are not forgotten. This day is as much yours as anyone else's. A lot's happened in the last four years. And a lot of people have moved on. I'm sorry for what happened, Dennis. I don't expect you to forgive me. Look, I'm a lot happier now. You know, with Fiona and Gabriel. But it doesn't stop me thinking about my dad. You know, what might have been. I guess you know what that's like. From being in prison. Alone with your thoughts. Yeah. It can be very difficult. But you're okay, aren't you, Jane? The Virgin Army's going from strength to strength, and I've got someone to share my happiness with. So 
sorry, Jane. How are things with you? Jane, you must see our baby. We have called him Fidel because he has revolutionized our family. Did you like my pun? <laughs> Finally, we have our own little bundle of joy. One we can keep. <laughs> Do you still hate me even though you've changed? Oh, Jane. That wasn't your fault. <clears throat> Without knowing the truth, we could never really relate to each other, could we? Doesn't have to be like that now, though, does it? Well, that's the little man put to bed. Ah, oh, aren't we lucky having two living babies this is? Yeah, well, don't get used to it. Once we're hitched, well, we'll be adopting a couple of our own. What do you think, Michael? <laughs> Go for your life. I okay, could do with a little playmate. Well, what do you think, everyone? Should we watch Tom's latest video? Fiona, yeah, I thought you didn't like me watching that sort of stuff. Yeah, but it's Tom. It's different. Come in. <clears throat> I shouldn't be disturbed here well, for a while, anyway. Do you want to sit down? Disturbed? For what exactly? Getting to know you again. Vanishing a few ghosts. <clears throat> Maybe telling each other how much we've missed each other. They work like dogs as social workers, but I don't think I could ever go back. Well, you know, sometimes I think, I mean, we'd have been fine. Except for the, you know, the baby mix-up. Maybe we knew in our bones that it wasn't right. Maybe that's what made it so difficult. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we never really go back after that, could we? Well, maybe not for the moment. <sighs> not for the moment, no. Yeah, but it's not as if we actually watch Tom's videos. We'll just fast forward through all that boring bump and grind and freeze frame on his name in the credits. Hi, Mum, Dad, Jeremy, Dennis. How you doing? Thought we'd send you this tape so you can see how little Bjorn's getting on. <sighs> Still making the movies. <gasps> Onto our 523rd right now. And we've got a nomination for the Euro Porn Awards. Best narrative. Anyway, we just thought we'd send you this. Say hi. How you doing? Hope to see you soon. Hope you're all well. Lots of love. Lots of love. Hi. Do you know, that is the first one of his videos I actually want to watch again. I wanted was to monopolize your party. It's okay. It's your birthday too. I guess I just thought it'd be a long time till we spent another one together. Well, I'm only out for the day. But I thought I'd come to wish you well. Make it sound like you're going away or something. Where's Josh? He's at home with the kids. I'm happy for you. I should go. Jane, wait. You deserve to be happy too, you know. Well, it's taken me a long time to get over what happened, but I finally made my peace with her. Still friends? I'm happy if you're happy. I'm happy. I really am. Good. I have to move on. You're all much better off without me. Well, as long as you realize that we do love you, it really doesn't matter how you turn out. I really should be going. I've seen what I came to see. You've all moved on, and that's all I really wanted to know. I can go now where I have to go. Drive me and daddy mad then. 
Right, Good party. Yeah, yeah. Natalie and Mum went completely over the top, but what's new? <laughs> Jane was there. I know. Sad. It's like she didn't belong anymore. Maybe she doesn't. Should we eat? Yeah. I'm starving. You know I love you, don't you? Always. And forever. Always. And forever. I don't oh, regret a single day with you. This is going to come as a shock, Dr. Harper, Mr. Harper, especially after everything that's happened. Jane's dead early this morning. No, it can't be her, though. She was here today on day release. She came to the party. Is it just now? She was... Jane! Oh, where is she? Where did she go?